well hello there and welcome to another video in this one i'm going to be doing another weekly plan with me in my hobonichi a6 uh, weekly supplemental which is a supplement to the hobonichi techo since there is not a weekly calendar um, in the original techo then i have this one um, which really has me pondering what my planning system is going to be for next year um, Let's just say my brain has been full of ideas this week, so maybe I'll talk about them as the video goes on. But for now, let's just go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do first is do my typical, um, for the most part, typical weekly spread uh, that I like to do as I do here in previous videos. I feel like the angle is a little bit funny, so let me try to fix that real quick. I don't know, I feel like the angle is a little bit funny, but um, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Today is Prime Day, <laughs> so I actually did order a new kind of system for how I record my videos. It's still I'm still going to be using my phone, but um, the arm that my phone hooks up to is going to be different, and there's also a ring light attached to it, so I'm going to be... Uh, trying that out for my next video. I ordered quite a few things. Um, yeah, let's let's not talk about that. <laughs> That's not true. You'll see some of them most likely because um, I'm really excited about it. So for this particular week, I want to go a little bit girly. So I'm going to be using my Pentel brush sign pen in, I think it's just purple. Let me, oh, let me see here, where I have all my swatches, Violet is the name of this one, so that's my Pentel brush sign pen, and then this is my Zebra Mild Liner in Baby Pink. I believe this is one of the new colors that they recently released. Um, I'm also going to be using my Uni Jet Stream. This is a 5-in-1, so it's got four different pen colors and a pencil, um, as well as my ever faithful Zig Clean Color Dot Marker in black. Uh, this one is so good. I really, really love the fine tip on this one. So the fine tip on all of these are like, on these like double-sided clean color dot markers. They're plastic, oops, sorry. They're, they're like a plastic nib. So they're nice and sturdy, but the ink flows so well through them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I've been watching, I don't know her name, but she keeps coming up on my like YouTube shorts and she's using, it's like a ASMR journaling planning kind of thing in these little short videos. And um, she keeps using these like sticky note kind of things that basically just look like like somebody went like this except I'm failing at it <laughs> um, basically like somebody had you know swatched a marker I've seen these these around too so I'm gonna give that a whirl as well one thing I'm not liking right now I don't know if it's coming Across. Yeah, you can see it a little bit with Tuesday, or I guess Friday. Um, for some reason, this blue color really soaked in through the page. Uh, so I don't know if I was just pressing too hard or what, but I'm not liking how that looks. It looks a little sloppy. I do, however, like how that looks. So um, this week, things are kind of back to normal with work. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just write this because I'm hard for me to multitask. <laughs> also, I'll go ahead and get zoomed in. Alright, I've got a couple things to say here. For one thing, so that pen was 
or that marker was the violet color. It might be a little bit washed out right now, but it looks pretty, well, okay, now it does look more blue. Probably on camera, it's coming on the same. Okay, never mind. So as I was um, writing the days, it reminded me of one of the things that I've been experimenting with as far as, you know, with my planner system for next year. And um, let me see if I could find it. So I was experimenting and um, with, with a setup of my own and I, I don't know what, I was just not paying attention and I put Wednesday and instead of Thursday, I put Wednesday. And instead of Friday, I put Tuesday. But you would think even logically after Tuesday, I would put Thursday, but I don't know what my brain was thinking. And then I started, I don't know, I started writing Saturday, but I forgot how to write an A. It was <laughs> really silly. So I looked at that and I was just like, uh, I need coffee or something. But anyway, um, I like how this looks. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my typical setup, except I can't find, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the, um, the rest of the setup for this week. Actually with this, I can multitask. And one quick thing too, before I get back to what I was going to say about work, um, I'm still on a hiatus. I'm still taking a break from using washi tape right here is just so bumpy and even I had a little bit of a challenge with writing uh, I had a little bit of a challenge writing um, these days of the week because of it so anyway this week with work things are back to normal so I've got pretty much two meetings, three meetings pretty much scheduled every day this week, which is, I don't know, I don't want to say if it's typical or not, because <laughs> things are just a little bit atypical. Um, but it is kind of nice to get back into the swing of things because last week I was not productive at all. I didn't even write like when I worked or anything like that. Um, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I've struggled with, um, I guess, keeping track of my productivity. And it's still something I've kind of been wanting to ponder or figure out, basically. Um, I did say that last week I was going to try something different for the week then that didn't work out and again that's because of my own like lack of productivity um, it's it's gonna take like I don't know it takes commitment I guess but at the same time um, I wasn't at my desk a lot last week let's just say that <laughs> Yeah, it was hard to stay productive just because we didn't have any meetings and we were, um, it was very much, and it pretty much is every day anyway, a self-study kind of thing. But there was just something about last week. And even like my partner, uh, he's, he said he also was not super productive as well. Um, so it was good that we, we still got together a couple times and essentially exchanged some notes about what we're doing and how to go about doing it. So I think at least for me and I'm sure for him too, that kind of helped make things feel a little bit more productive. So as far as this week, I am going to try again, which is what I had said for last week, which was to write down the meetings that I have scheduled for this week, rather than just writing meeting like I had done 
in previous weeks where I wrote meeting, 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 um, to write the actual meeting name or just write meeting. I'm not sure, but you know, take a drink next time I say meeting. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many times can I say that word? All right, so I have that set up. Something I have been liking, I think I've been using it, what, two weeks now, is this, this little sidebar here. So before I was using, making it like a to-do list, which I also do enjoy, but I'm also kind of making a to-do list at, up at the top. It has its pros and cons because it also, me. this is me doing it on the same day. Um, and I also like to be proactive about what things I need to accomplish, at least in my personal life, um, so that I can, you know, reference that, but so I don't have enough space for that. So I don't know if I'm going to continue. I do like the little sidebar setup and I even, I'm going to try a different setup just slightly. Um, I am talking way too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a different setup. So this is what the sidebar is going to look like. And really, um, I don't, this is just practice checks. They're not for the most part, real checks. Um, but yeah, this is going to be what I'm going to use here. Okay. So I will either cut to the next section or just kind of speed up through this next part. Okay, so I went ahead and I made my kind of goals for this week. So I guess I have a few or a little bit of space for any to do's. Um, but yeah, I again, I really, really like this for kind of, I guess you could call it a habit tracker. Um, but at the same time, it's uh, the purpose is to. I don't know, I guess let's just call it a habit tracker because my mind can't <laughs> think of anything else at this time. Um, let's see, so this go around, I am going to mark when I have stuff going on. So like I mentioned, things are back to normal this week. so. We've got meetings written. So part of my job is consulting. And so we are we have been getting trained on effective communication. So a couple weeks ago, that's not sprint, but that's okay. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had a training on um, verbal communication. I'm sorry, it's taking me <laughs> so long to talk and write. It's not the easiest. Um, and this week, we have <clears throat> presentations on effective uh, written communication. So it was kind of interesting because the exercises 
that we do. So in the written communication piece, uh, we've been doing, we wrote um, emails to the instructor. And it was kind of fun. I do like writing. I guess that's why I'm here. <laughs> and 10 o'clock was our state management. All right, so I went quiet there because yeah, it was a little bit difficult for me to talk and write at the same time because I was copying from my Kokuyo planner. Um, so yeah, it was kind of fun having the exercises for the written communication because we wrote emails to the instructor as if we were speaking with a client. So, or even like with a manager or something like that. So. It's kind of nice that these kinds of trainings are being offered because I know not a lot of places do that and communication is so, so difficult as things can be easily misconstrued, especially when you're talking about um, written communication. Things can just be taken out of context or taken out of hand or just, you know, because everybody's personalities are just so different that things, and not necessarily personalities, but even values and how one learned to speak and read and write that because of all these differences um, effective verbal communication and written communication are just it's not the easiest thing and even I'm struggling right now to explain it but I do find it fascinating that um, this is a whole field in and of itself so that is my spread for this week um, and we'll just kind of leave it at that. I don't have any other appointments. Oh, I did have one more meeting and that was at 1230. Okay, so yeah. That is my spread for this week. I don't have much on my to-do list, but I suppose I can make one, but we'll see. We'll see what my brain comes up with. So anyway, in the interest of uh, keeping the video relatively short, um, I went ahead and I pulled some stickers so that I'm not like jumbling through all my stickers. And a lot of these actually come from my little King Gem um, sticker book because I've kind of been neglecting this one in lieu of my Dollar Tree photo album sticker books especially because those sticker books contain stickers from Coffee Monsters Co, Paper Bits Co, Nightingale Paper Company, um, the majority of them some happy planner stuff but anyway so the the King Jim sticker book contains a lot of like random stuff, including Happy Planner. This one is actually from, uh, I think it is actually Happy Planner. I thought it was Sweet Kawaii Designs for Michaels, but um, I don't, I'm starting to think it's not for that. Um, and then I liked this like blue color for laundry. I've really, really, really been enjoying using Um, using my tweezers. I just got these off of Amazon. And speaking of Amazon, <laughs> so yeah, Prime Day, that was, I, I will say, you know, a lot of the purchases were practical. So for example, my husband and I have been talking about, talking about um, setting up a setting up the TV so that it's mounted onto the wall and finally got a wall mount. So I hope it's a good deal because I haven't really been keeping track of what wall mount, wall mount actually cost. So um, 
yeah, I am hoping it was a good deal. What's nice though, like with Prime Day and even just like Amazon Prime in general, it's it's uh, kind of cool that you can just like go return stuff. Like they make it really easy to return things um, if something doesn't work out. Uh, happy Planner, Happy Planner, Happy Planner. This one is Sweet Kawaii Design from her Etsy shop. I don't know if they have an Etsy shop anymore. And this one is One Orange Snowflake. So they are not in business anymore. Um, so these are really, really old from like back when I had my Passion Planner, which was, I don't know, like 20... 2017 maybe more or less um, but man it was definitely a week of watching some TV shows uh, did y'all catch Stranger Things I'm so it's the finale right but the last episode made it seem like it's not I don't know I'm really really confused um, I don't think that's a spoiler but it was just like, huh? But nonetheless, I really, really enjoyed this season. My husband said he liked it too, even though he didn't like the second season. And he was like, eh, on the third. Um, but he said he did enjoy this one. Um, and then we watched Inventing Anna, kind of late on that one. <laughs> but uh, we did finally get a chance to see that and it's good. I really love that actress. I forget her name. She was in Ozark. She was also in, oh gosh, what is that? Was it Psycho? I'm trying to remember the name of the show with, um, it has Emma Stone and Jonah Hill. It's on Netflix and they're, it's a really interesting, kind of a weird show, but I can't remember. And Basically, the same girl from Inventing Anna is Emma Stone's sister. Um, I, if, I can't figure out what the name is, but if you do come across it, I, I recommend it. It's a little bit trippy. It is a little bit weird. However, it was a lot interesting. And this marker, by the way, is my Zebra Mild Liner in red. And one of the things that I spent not working was cleaning my desk, <laughs> cleaning the office, practically. Uh, let's see, so burgers. We had hot dogs, we had burgers. So these stickers are from the Pretty Planner. Um, also another one that's not in business which is really unfortunate because I I do like oh okay did we not have burgers oh burger was Friday okay anyway as I was saying um sorry I heard voices outside uh Tuesday was salad I don't remember what I was saying. Something about burgers. We had burgers on Friday. Oh, the Pretty Planner. This one's also from the Pretty Planner. Not, in sh not a shop that's around anymore. At least I don't think so. Um, but these stickers are really, really cute. It's just very simple, but also I like their size and they're just effective, you know? Uh, okay, so Friday we had burgers. And I think Friday we got a of rain. I think my in-laws said they got two inches of rain, um, which is definitely nothing to sneeze at, especially living out in the desert. A ton of rain is most certainly welcome. However, it can be difficult for um, certain parts of living out here in the desert um, it can be a little bit difficult if you're not 
if the city isn't properly equipped to handle a dumping of rain. Um, because it is typical, it is a typical weather pattern and um, it can flood really easily. So when I've gone out to visit my family um, right across the border in Mexico, the, the city is just not well equipped to handle a ton of rain. And so things get really, really flooded and they get flooded very quickly. And um, it takes a while for the flooding to go down. So it's something that, you know, sadly like, is just something that, I don't know, I, you just kind of learn to live with, I guess. But at the same time, it leads to kind of a mess with, um, cars getting stuck, people getting stranded, and yeah. Um, but even here in Tucson, which is where I'm from, um, there are certain parts of town where the roads do this like dip thing, and it's basically so that water can run through. And I can't tell you how many times I grew up hearing, don't cross those streams because you don't know how deep it is, how quickly the water's flowing, and you'll potentially get stuck. And um, I think kind of recently, I could be wrong, but um, I feel like kind of recently a new segment started appearing on the news where um, if you got stuck, and you had to be rescued that you were gonna show up on the TV, on like on the news, um, because like on the local news, a mm, little bit as like a shame, shame kind of thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I got into this topic of talking about rain so much. I got a new ceiling fan for the office and I love it. The other one was hanging too low and this one is really low profile so it's a little bit closer to the ceiling um, but I love it. It's almost like I got back a ton of space that I didn't think I was going to get anyway um, but it just turned out so well so my husband helped me install it but for the most part I did do the majority of the work um, and I also had to figure out like some of the breakers because they weren't labeled. They were just labeled as like one big lumping of, um, oh, what do you call it? General illumination or something like that. So then I went through each breaker and had my husband, um, tell me what they were. And then I was out there with a Sharpie just, uh, writing. All right, so I did say I had a bunch of stickers, and I did. I used them pretty well. Um, and I knew that there was going to be space left over, so I just kind of wanted to, to decorate random things. So I didn't pick out any deco. I just kind of picked out my, my little photo album here so that um, I can go through and figure out whatever I want. Um, so anyway, that's how my summer has been. I am feeling mushrooms. <laughs> um, pretty, pretty chill, pretty mellow, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with You know, not having, not getting that like FOMO kind of feeling that sometimes you can get when, when it's summertime. These little mushroom stickers, by the way, are from my Sticky Club sticker subscription. I do have a video up about Sticky Club. And these stickers are just so good. These stickers look a lot thicker too than they actually are. They're super, super thin. I think it's because the gold foiling and the light just kind of, kind of makes them look a little bit um, 
like thicker, kind of like a puffy sticker, but they indeed are not puffy stickers. And I think in my previous video, I said I didn't have a 4th of July sticker, and I did. So I definitely need to go back to Oh Hello Stationery's website and um, get, get some more stickers. They do have an Etsy shop as well, so we will see. Do I need more mushrooms? <laughs> For somebody who loves mushrooms, asking if I need more mushrooms. All right. And then let's just check this book here. This week, uh, these two days, we cooked some interesting things. So, got that one. That one is from, oh, um, what is it? Coffee Monsters Co. Cheese and crackers. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> uh, I really, really like these watercolor flowers too. So I hope that these are still for sale in her shop. These are so pretty. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a mishmash of random stickers. But I like it. I do what I want. Okay, I kind of like it. <laughs> All right, so that is my spread for July 4th. All right, so this is my spread for July 4th, and um, it's kind of cute. It's a little bit all over the place. Again, last week I was a little bit all over the place, so I guess it's pretty um, reflective of of how that week was passed and this week I'm hoping that I can be a little bit more productive yesterday I was definitely productive and even um, get some journaling and crafting done because I did not do so well last week and also figure out what we're having for dinner those two days but yeah this is my spread so far for this week I do appreciate you sitting I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you have any questions about my setup or the stickers or any of the stuff that I used, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a great, great week.